Hello, I'm Mo, and I'm here to show you uh, our project, the main menu project, which is aligned uh, in accordance with another video tutorial video, which shows how different functions, how you can set different projects to customize it in a way you want. So let's just hover around and see what this what this project uh, has for us. I'm just going to press new game. Just gonna show you the trigger points. We've set a couple of trigger points. So when you when you cross these points, you get you get the new chapters enabled. And then whenever you also let's just show you the chapters. Yeah, just back from the second chapter. And and then if if I wanna let me just show you show you one another thing. Let me just go back to the menu. Since since we've We've been to the trigger points. When I press continue, it's going to continue from, from the last trigger points. And then the setup, how we, how you can set up, uh, we've, we've shown you in, in another video that, that I've mentioned. Let me show you another tab. Actually, let me show you the camera transition. We've set a camera transition, a smooth camera transition. And then you can also easily add tabs on top. It's we we it's it's been it's been shown how you can you can you know add the tabs. Also, we've assigned a Q and E key, keys. So when you press Q, you go left, and then when you press E, you go right. So you can simply hover around and just change the elements. Okay, let's go to the loadout section. I'm just gonna type in fast, just as a loadout. Uh, just confirm and then I'm going to show you the weapons that we've created we've we've created grenades weapons uh, pistols rifles in each class weapon class we've we've created the models so you, you have them available here and you can easily just adjust you can easily add or remove anything that you want a melee weapon as well a cleaver an axe different type of grenades and then when you press save it just simply creates creates it and then whenever i've, I've this the saved uh, the saved loadout you can you can go and play with the save loadout whenever whenever you press press play okay moving on to the next step the characters we've created two characters uh let me just not forget this that i'm just going to show you this is this is this is really easily adjustable. You just need to add the meshes and then that's that's it. Voila. So for the characters, we've created a male and female. And then you have the option to change the outfits. Just change the shoes. You can add your colors. It's it's really 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 easy, guys, to change the colors. As said repeatedly, it's been it's been shown how you can how you can make them in the other video and then moving on to the next tab the settings we've got audio video graphics and key bindings we've got some mainstream elements for which is which is similar to it has similar elements to to many many other uh you know settings that you see in other games graphics section and then a key binding let me not let let's let me not forget let me not forget the fact let me not forget to mention the fact that the key binding is just for the keyboard it's not it's not assigned for a console and then we have the reset reset to defaults which which can be adjusted as well the the defaults and then automatically when this the ac adding action inputs come can, can be easily will be easily shown here it's, it's it's completely visible it's easy to see it here something basic to mention and then exit and there you have it i hope this was a helpful demonstration of of our project hope you'll enjoy it if you have any questions 
let me know. There are different ways to find us. Email on Unreal Engine, the product page, or YouTube. Um, hope to hear your feedback and hope you'll enjoy this project.